So I was saying that sometimes um, the American law is very, very um, strict. It's too strict for comfort. And once you are trapped in that, you can ne never get yourself until you can, you know, go back to the law and try to fix things. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I pray that God should give me the strength to continue. Well, guys, um, I'm actually here again to talk about something going on online. You know, there's this lady on YouTube, you know, everybody, uh, most people, anybody listening to me will understand who I'm talking about. Uh, she's trending right now because of what her husband, uh, who um, her husband brought out to the public, you know. She's trending, everybody's saying so many things and they're crucifying her, they're calling her names, they're, you know, saying all kinds of un un ungodly things about her. And I really feel for this lady. I'm not going to mention her name, she knows herself. Uh, actually, she's a very good friend of mine and she helped me a lot with my other YouTube channel. Even with this one, she promoted it for me a bit. And so I think I know her to an extent to be able to talk about her. Um, this whole thing is just crazy, guys. It's it's crazy. I, I wish someone can go talk to this man to just zip it. You know, I I, I know that the the wife must have you know hurt him because she admitted that she served him off. You know. Uh, for some months and that's why he's you know going gaga and saying all kinds of things but that's not acceptable even if your wife don't did something really bad to you it's not it's not good that you bring it out in public you know this person you're discussing your life your wife with is she better than your wife no she's not better than your wife she has her own secrets that nobody has discovered yet because the yoruba says everyone is a thief it is the person caught in the act that is a barao. You know, everybody's a thief. Everybody have skeletons in their cupboard. Some good ones, some bad ones. So don't get happy when someone's skeleton is out in the public. Because I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, support anything that is bad. To my own knowledge, I know that this lady was wrong. She was wrong to have even dealt with that stupid, with that man of God. But it doesn't get to the extent that her husband, who married her, who knows her, who has lived with her for years, you know, will now team up with people who are like enemies to her to talk about her. You know, if this man, I, I don't even blame this man, the, the, the woman who brought the, the video out. I don't blame her because if she, if, if, he did not go to the lady the lady would not come to his house to you know to record him talking he called the woman and he was so stupid to talk about his wife like that that's that's a no-no i know she she aired even the first recording that they got was also something she discussed with her husband it's like man and wife, you know, having a problem and then you decide to, 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 to say something to hurt the other person. And then someone takes that recording and bring it, brings it to the public. If this lady had brought that first recording to the public, I would have blamed her. But she did not bring it out. You know, her husband was the one who brought it out. This is something you, you talk, you discuss with your wife. This is like a fight between a husband and a wife. Many people talking online today have even worse marriages than this marriage. Many of them talking, many of them giving advice, many of them, you know, writing on that uh, YouTube page. They all have their own skeletons, but nobody's bringing it out because they are so smart to keep their things inside. But this man was so foolish. Yes, I will say he's foolish. I'm sorry for using that word, but that's what, ex that's what he is. That's who he is. He's a very, he's a, he's, a, he's a brainless person for him to bring, to even go to that lady for, for cancer. What is she going to have for? What was he thinking or hoping to achieve by going to this woman? What? You know, sometimes we, we bring things that, we, we do things not thinking about the consequences. You know, how would you lose a marriage of over 10 years just because of this nonsense? I'm not talking to the, I'm talking to the band now. Why would you lose your marriage over this? Why would you? Your wife did something against you. You were not happy with her. And 
the, the, that gave, gave you the authority to come in the public and sell her cheap to the public. You know, that's what you just did. You just pushed your wife out to be slaughtered by her enemies. I'm not saying that those people, uh, when I use the word enemy, I mean, you know, people who don't agree with her, who have different views with, uh, from hers. You just allowed your wife to be castigated like that just because, just because of what? Hmm? Why? Okay, even if you're going to marry a new woman today, if that's what you're in, are you going to get someone that will be comfortable with you like your wife? Even if you get a comfortable person like your wife, you, some things will happen that st will still refer you back to her. Because you guys have been in this for a long time. For a long time. You know, that's why it's not good to bring things out. Like when I'm talking on YouTube now, I'm talking here because I really have to talk about this. About my own personal life. Because it got to a point that I felt like I need to bring it out. And people also ask me, are you sure, are you, sure you can deal with the consequences? And I said, yes, I can. Because I know it's not like I'm saying what did not happen. I'm saying what happened. But this is between me and someone else. And I've not even mentioned any names. I'm just saying it so that in, in case my daughter gets older tomorrow, she'll be able to, you know, uh, watch it and see what happened and hear from me. Because you might think you stay longer, you live longer, or you live very, very long, and something may happen. Nobody is sure of life. That's why I brought my story out. But you, a husband, you have, a, you have children, you have a family together, you have achievements together, you have things you've done together. Why would you bring your wife out in the public to be slaughtered? You know, I was watching this thing yesterday and I felt very bad for this lady. I felt very bad, regardless of whatever she has done. The husband has no right to talk about her like that in public. Because that's what it is. He, he claims he, he, he was talking with uh, just the lady, but she has brought it out to public. So you were talking with the public. You told the public about your wife. And that's not good. That's, I don't know how you're going to fix this right now. I don't know how you're going to fix this. You've done so much. You've, you've, you've gone beyond the boundaries. You've done you, you, what you did right now. is not something anybody can easily forgive you. If a man does that to me, I'll not forgive that man. That will be the end of it. And that's why I'm very careful in what I'm saying here. I only say the things that I know that are true and things that will not hurt anyone. You know, I'm talking about my child, talking about someone taking my child and talking about everything I've gone through, the struggles, my pain, uh, my joy and everything. That's just me. I'm not castigating anybody. I'm not trying to say I'm doing the right thing. Some people see what I'm doing as a bad thing. But it doesn't. I'm not hurting anybody with it. Only me. Because I'm the one that people call and talk to. I'm the one that they ask, they, they, they ask to remove the video. They come to me and tell me, oh, bring your videos down. Stop talking on YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. Why are you talking? But this person is your wife, Mr. Man. He's your wife. She's your wife. Why would you bring her out like that? For what reason? I don't just understand. Did this lady put some jazz on you that made you talk like that? Did she force you to really, you know, talk like that? You know, we need to watch ourselves. Anger does a lot of damage in our lives. And people don't really, really know. Sometimes you don't know. But when you're angry, the best thing to do is to keep quiet. You know, I've made some mistakes in the past that I did with anger and I learned my lesson. So these days when I'm so angry, I don't even want to talk. That's why I took a break when I took a break from my channel. I took a break because I was still boy. I was so angry and I didn't just want to come here and talk and reveal things I shouldn't be revealing. So I took time to relax my mind before I came back. So I'm talking to you, Mr. Ben, you that went to this channel, you call this lady to, to drag your wife. You need to beg her. You need to beg her for forgiveness. Even if you're not going to marry her again, you need to beg her because you have hurt her. You cannot just hurt your fellow human being like that and expect everything to go back to being dandy. You know, you can't do that. That's not right. 
This is a woman who has three children for you. This is a woman who's been with you through thick and thin. This is a woman who is helping you build your business even in Nigeria. Why would you come and talk about her like that? That's not right, mister. I played with you today to please. You publicly disgrace this woman. I want you to publicly apologize to her. Publicly. You always hide your face when she's making videos. She invites you many times to come on her video. You don't want to come on, online to talk to her. You don't want people to see your face. But you have the guts to go to this lady and talk about your wife like trash. So this time, you need to come public. You need to apologize to that lady. You've hurt her. You wronged her. And it's not right. Guys, I'm going to stop here today. I'm not going to talk more than this. I just came out because of this lady. Because she's a friend and I know who she is. I know that what the husband said about her is not her. She, that doesn't mean she's what the man called her to be. She's not. And that's not right. Until next time, next time ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop here. We'll meet again. Thank you so much for listening to me. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.